Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the multimodal AI with Spring Boot. So we are going to understand how to use the multimodal within the Spring AI functionalities. So what we will do is we will try to understand that how we can use the image model that is the vision model and how we can use the audio model as well. So we'll understand how to create the images from the prompt and how to create or read the images what we already have. Same way we will try to understand how we will create the audio from the text that is the text to speech conversion and also we will understand the transcription of the audio so these four things we are going to understand today within the multimodal part of the spring ai so as we discuss we will see the two things one is the vision part and one is the audio part and for both we will convert from text to vision text to image and image to text that is the description of that image same way we will do audio to text and text to speech conversion so all the things we will do today and for this we will be using the different models that is provided by the open ai so we are going to use the open ai in this particular section of the video so what you can do is you can have the open ai api key so we'll understand how to get the open api key as well this is really simple to implement all this vision and audio api using the spring ai functionalities so let's get started so what we have to do is we have to first get the api key using the open ai in the earlier videos we work with the chat gpt model right where we created the text data using the text input here we will do with the image and audio so as last time we went to the open ai to get the api key we will do the same thing we will go to the open ai section so we'll go to open ai let's go to the pricing let me just log in here okay platform.openai.com so I've just logged into my system. What I will do is I will go to the settings and within the settings, I will go to the project. I'll go to the billing. So you can see that I have added $5 into my account and I have $4 available currently. So if you want to work with this, just try to make sure that you add a couple of dollars here because with this couple of dollars, you will be able to hit the API without adding the money. You won't be able to hit the APIs. So just add a couple of dollars, not more than that. Okay. And then go to the your profile section and go to the your API keys and here you can create your API keys. So what I've done is I've already created a secret key here. So I am going to use the same secret key, but you can go ahead and create the new secret key as well here and make sure that you are not sharing that secret key with anyone. So I've already have the secret key. So I'm going to use the same secret key here. Okay. So this is all you need to do here. You just need to create your account and log in as a developer here and add a couple of dollars, not more than that. Okay, because we are just learning here. So once we add a couple of dollars and just creating the secret key, we are good here. With this, what we'll do is we'll create our Spring Boot application. And with Spring AI, we will try to work with the vision model and the audio model of ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and create the Spring Boot application. So I'll go to the Spring Initializer here for creating my application. Okay. And what I will do is I will be using the Java as my language and Maven as my project. And I'll be using 3.3.1 Spring Boot version. I will add daily code buffer as my group artifact. I will add as Spring AI multimodal and package name. I'll give as example. And here within the dependencies, what I will do is I need to create a web application. So I will add as a Spring Web here. And then what I will do is I will add the Open AI model here. Okay, you can see that it's a Spring AI support for ChatGPT, the AI language model, and Dali, the image generation model from OpenAI. Okay, so we are going to use this image generation model and we are going to use the audio model as well. Okay, so this is the two things that I have added here. Okay, and I'm using packaging as jar and Java version as 21. So these are the default things I've added. The only important part is the OpenAI dependency. Once I've added this, I need to generate the project and open in IntelliJ IDEA. So let me just generate the project and open in IntelliJ IDEA. So I've generated the project. I will go to the download sections. And I'm opening in IntelliJ IDEA. I will go to the document section, then Java workspace, Spring AI multimodal and open. Okay. And here you can see that your application is open in IntelliJ IDEA. And here what I need to do is I need to connect my Spring Boot application to the open AI platform. So here I need to add a couple of properties. So let me just add those couple of properties here. So the first property I need to add is the model which I'm going to use. Okay. So I've just added spring.ai.openai.chat.options.model equals to GPT-40. So this is the new model from ChatGPT, GPT-40. So that is what I'm going to use. 
for this we have already created a video so you can refer that video as well how to use this model and what are the advantages of this model so i'm going to use this model and then i'm going to add the secret key and with this property that is spring.ai.openai.epi key i am going to add the secret key whatever i have downloaded from here okay so if i go whatever the secret key i have downloaded from here that is the secret key i am going to add here so i'll just add the secret key here and i will close this so that we are not seeing the secret key because you should not share your secret keys okay now, now i have added the secret key as well here in my application.properties file now what I have to do is I can go here and I can create a controller which will help me to create the APIs and call the chat GPT for my image revision model and the audio model. So let me just create a class and I'll say this is an AI controller and this is going to be my rest controller. Okay, this is a simple thing that I wanted. Now let's create an API which will help us to create the image based on the prompt that we give okay so whatever the prompt that i will give based on that prompt it will generate the image for us that's, that's a simple example that's a simple thing everyone does so we should know how to do that as well and based on this this initial learnings you can work ahead and you can try to make sure that you are giving a proper prompt and using the different options that chat gpt provides we can pass the different options and generate the data as per our needs okay Inter internally it will use the dali model for generation of this image and if you want to learn all of these things what you can do is you can go to the spring ai okay you can go to spring ai section here okay and here you can see that there is a lot of learnings available okay so go to the learn section here and go to the reference docs and here you can learn about each and everything so here you can see that there is a spring ai api sections and within here all the different apis are available you can learn about all the different ai models ai apis and everything so this is the resources that you should follow to learn each and everything about the spring ai what i have done is i have gone through this image model api and from here i have taken the examples to understand what all things are there and similarly i have gone to the audio model api to understand about the audio capabilities of the spring ai using the open ai sections okay so this is what i have uh, gone through to learn about the new things in the spring ai you can also refer the same document and learn more about the same and all as always if you have any questions or queries regarding any of the things that we are covering then you can always ask me in the comment section below so let's start with the first api that is the image generation based on the prompt okay so let's create one api that is public string generate image okay and what i will do is i will do the get mapping here Currently, we are doing the simple things, but we can enhance based on our requirements. So we are just trying to understand the different ways that we can use the Spring AI functionality to connect to the OpenAI to get what we need. Okay. So this is not a production ready application. These are just the learning purposes. Based on these options, we can start working on to create better applications. So let's generate the image. So what I need is I need a prompt as an input. Okay. So. I need I need to pass image and then I will pass the prompt okay and prompt I will take as the input here okay and I will tell this this is a path variable okay so this is my prompt and I'm taking this as a path variable so now what I need to do is I need to work with the spring AI library now now as here we are going to work with the model I need to get the reference of the model as well okay so my model is open ai image model okay so here you can see that it is part of the spring ai and this is the model that i'm going to use so i'll just add the reference to it and i will auto wire it okay so this is the model i'm going to use so now let's add the code to use this model so i will call here open ai image model dot call here you can see that this is the call method and this call method is taking image prompt as the input here so we need to create the object of the image prompt and we need to pass the image prompt as well so if you go to the image prompt here you can see that this image prompt is taking the different options here here you can see that it is taking the list of images that is one image messages that is one of the constructor here and here it is also taking the list of image messages and the image options so here you can see that everywhere it is taking the image options as the input here and if you go and see what is the image options here you can see that in the image options there are different properties that we need to set here you can see that get n get model get width get height and get response format so these are the different properties that we need to set to get the or to set the image options and this is part of the model options okay 
So these are the different things that we are also going to see and let's add all these things as well. So let's go back to the AI controller and let's see new image prompt here. And in the image prompt, what we need to pass? We need to pass the prompt that we got. Okay. So we'll pass the prompt and then what we need to pass? We need to pass the image option. So let's create the object of the image options and pass that as well. So we'll pass open AI image options, open AI image options dot builder dot build. So here with this builder dot build, we'll pass the image options. Okay. So let's pass the different values. What we need to pass? We need to pass the height. We need to pass the quality. We need to pass the width and we need to pass the n as well. Okay. So all these values we need to pass. So let's pass these values. So height I need is 1024. Width I need is 1024. I need 1024 by 1024 as a image. Quality I need is HD quality and with n I need is 1. Okay. Why? Now let's go through all these values. So these two fields height and width are self explanatory. So I'm just giving the size of the image that I want to generate. And in the quality I'm passing the HD quality because I am want to generate the HD quality with n equals to one means I want to generate one images. Currently this only works with the one value. If you're passing more values then it is not working. So we'll just pass one because I want to generate one data. Okay. One image. So with this your open AI image call method has been generated. Okay. Now this particular call method will return image response as the input, right? So what we will do is we will take the image response here, image response as the output. Okay. And now with image response, we can pass on the data back. So now what I need, I need response object dot get result dot get metadata or dot get output because dot get metadata will return me the metadata of the image that I have generated. Get output will return me the image. So I just need the image that I generated dot get URL. Okay. This is what I need. So it will give me the URL for which the image is generated and I can see the URL what is generated. So this is what I need and I need to return this. Okay. Simple. You can see that I have not done much thing over here. What I have done is I have taken the prompt as the input and I have used the open AI image model to call the prompt here and what type of image I want to generate. That is the detail that I have given that I want 1024 by 1024 width. I need HD quality and the image is in something I, I need one. Now everything depends on the prompt. So let's start our application and let's see what's happening. So let me just start the application. So here you can see that your application started and now what I will do is I will go to the browser and I will call localhost 8080 slash image slash I want to pass the prompt here. Okay. So let's pass the prompt. I'll pass uh, an elephant playing with basketball. Okay. It will do the magic and it will generate the image and it will give us the URL. So let's wait for it to complete. And here you can see that the URL is generated. So let's go ahead and see the URL as well. I'll just copy the URL and open in a new tab. And here you can see that the image is generated. And here you can see that I see the elephant playing the basketball. So here, here you can see that with Dali's model, we are able to generate the images what we need based on the Spring AI library and the Spring Boot. Okay. So here you can see that it's how easy it is to generate the images based on the prompt. So let's do one more thing. Let's generate one more image. So what we will do is let me just tell that create a daily code buffer logo. Let's see what it generates for us. Here you can see that the URL is created. I just copy the URL and I'll open in new tab. Let's see what is generating. I also don't know. And here you can see that it generated the logo for us. That is daily code buffer. Okay. So this is how you will be able to generate the images using the prompt that you have. Now let's do another thing. Let's reverse this. Let's give the image and let's try to understand what that image is about using the open AI. So what I will do is I'll create a new method, a new API with taking the image. It will tell us what that image is about. Okay. So let's go back and let's go to the IntelliJ idea and let's create a new method that will give us the data based on the image. So let's create a new method. I'll say public string generate image to text and there's also get mapping and I will tell this is image to text. Okay. So now here what I need is now here what I need is I need the image as well. So let me just grab one image here. So what I will do is I will I've already downloaded one image here. 
okay here you can see that this is the image i have downloaded okay this is a image which has a bunch of code here html code which has a list and everything right and it is little bit blurry as well and little bit tilted as well so this is a random image that i have downloaded from the pixels so i will just copy this image and i will add in the intellij idea i'll go to the resource section and i will paste it here so what i will do is i will tell open ai that this is the image and explain me what is this image about and what is there in this image so let's work on this so here i need string in return so i'll just say string response equals to and i will use the chat client here so i will create the object of a chat client so i'll just define private chat client you can see that chat client is a part of spring framework ai dot chat client so i'll just define the chat client i'll auto wire it so i have the object of it and then using the chat client i can directly use the chat client as well dot create method and here within the create method you can see that i need to pass a chat model so let's pass the chat model as well okay so what i will do is i will pass the chat model rather than the image model so what i will do is i will not use this and i will create a chat model here okay and i will pass the chat model and then i need to pass the prompt then i'll pass the user prompt okay and here i need to pass the text u dot text okay user spec dot text and here i'm going to pass the text this is my prompt that i'm going to pass here so i'll just say explain what do you see in this image okay and then i'll pass the media okay so whatever the image is there that i'm going to pass here so i'll just say mime type utils dot image jpg because it's a jpg image right okay and then with the resource you can see that with the resource i need to load that image as well so with new file system resource i will load it file system resource and here i need to pass the url of it so i'll just copy the url absolute path okay dot call dot content okay so here you can see that it's a simple thing that i have done here what i did is i call the chat client here and i created using the chat model okay so i have added the reference of a chat model here and then in the prompt of the user section user this is the user prompt there are two types of prompt right there is a user and there is a system one so i've just passed the user one where i have passed text like what i want to do for this particular image so i just passed that text is this and the media is this okay so for this media what i want to do i want to explain this image to me okay and i have passed the media as well and i have called this chat client and i have taken the content back and then i can do return response okay it's a simple thing so i am calling image to text here and whatever the image that i have passed here that image is something that it will explain what is there in this image so let me just restart my application and let's see what is happening here so my application is restarted and what i will do is i will go to the browser again and i will call image to text here okay and let's wait until it is processed so here you can see that it is processed and here you can see that it has explained everything what is there in the image it says that this image shows a snippet of html code yes it was an html code right and which is used for creating and structuring sections of a web, web page if you go back and see this is the one right it is creating the different sections here yes and this code includes various html tags and attributes here is the breakdown of the code it says html tag and structure there is a div tag and there is a ul and li tag as well okay all those things are there you can see all those things are available here now if we give the proper correct image which ai model is able to identify what it is we can also tell that capture the entire code and code whatever the code is there just print that code as well or get that code for me as well so from that image it will be able to get the code as well if you give any image suppose whatever the image that you generated right that elephant playing the basketball if you give that it will also explain like what is this image is about like there is an elephant playing the basketball with orange color and all those stuffs okay so it will try to identify everything and what you can do is with this particular data if we want we can directly display it and also we can use the converters to convert this data into a list or an object or a class whatever we need okay this is all things that we covered in the previous section or previous videos as well so you can follow that as well to get the data but this is how you can see that you can convert an image using the prompt and also with the image you can get the data using the prompt as well so this is how you can work with the 
vision model in the Spring AI. So now let's work with the audio model. So what I have done is I have downloaded one sample audio from the internet. Okay, this is the audio I have downloaded. That is the Harvard.view file. Okay, and if you listen to the it. The stale smell of old beer lingers. It takes heat to bring out the odor. A cold dip restores health and zest. A salt pickle tastes fine with ham. Tacos al pastor are my favorite. A zestful food is the hot cross bun. Okay, so this is the audio file. So what I will do is I will give this audio file to Spring AI and I will tell that transcribe this audio for me. So this is what we are going to do. So what I will do is I will just copy this audio file and I will go to IntelliJ IDEA and I will add this in my resource section. So this is the audio file I have added. So now let's work with this audio file to give me the transcription of this audio. So let's create a new API for this. So API is public string generate transcription and I will do the get API here get mapping and I will say audio to text. Okay, simple thing. So as in the previous section, we worked with the open your image model and chat model. Here also we need to work with the model. So I will add the model that is open AI audio transcription model because we are working with the transcription. So this is the model that I've added and I will auto wire this information. Okay. So this model I can use now in the image option. I have added the image options AI image options. So for the audio, I need to pass the audio options as it is. So, so let's work with that. So I'll just create the object of open AI open AI audio transcription options options equals to open AI audio transcription options dot builder dot build and let's pass the values. So what I need, I need language. I need a response format. I need temperature. So I'll just add the temperature as well. So this is what I need. So the language I need is English. I want the transcription in English, whatever the language you want a transcription in, you can pass that language. I need temperature as zero F. Now temperature are really important part when we are working with the models. So what temperature is temperature defines that what is the variation that you can require or, or you need in the data. So if you're giving the higher number, the probability of the random data will be high. And if you're giving the lower number, the probability of the randomness will be very less. So if you want any accurate results, you don't want any creativity added by the open AI models, then you give the lower number in the temperature as you can give the higher number. So I'm giving zero F here and with response format, like in which format you need the response back. Okay. Because you can get the data back as a text in different formats. So that is what we need to pass. So I can pass open AI audio API dot transcription response format dot. You can see that there are different options that is text, JSON, SRT file, VVT file or verbose JSON. Okay. Whatever you want, you can pass. I need the data in simple text. If you want to have a voiceover for any videos, you can pass it SRT or VVT. It will add the data in that particular format. I need a simple text. So I'm just passing a simple text here. So here you can see that my options is created. Now I need to create a prompt. Okay. Here for us, the prompt would be the audio file that I need to give. So I need to pass audio transcription prompt prompt equals to new audio transcription prompt. And here I need to pass new file system resource and I need to give the path here. So I'll just copy the reference path. So this is the prompt that we have created. Now we will get the response back. So it will be audio transcription response response equals to now I need to call the model, right? Call the API. So it will be open AI audio transcription model dot call method. And within this call method, I need to pass the prompt. Okay. So this is a prompt that I have passed. Now with response, I can take response dot get result dot get output. So this is the data that we will get and I will return this. So here you can see that it's a simple thing that we did here audio to text API where I have added the open AI audio transcription options like what is something that I need. What I did is I just told that I need in English language. I need a text format and my temperature should be zero. So I need exactly the data that I am passing. I don't need any variations here and, and I build the response. Then within the prompt, what I did is I added the audio file that I want as a prompt. And once I am adding this as a prompt, what I can do is I can 
pass the options as well because in my prompt i need these options so that's why i have added it let me just so this is my transcription prompt here and i have called the model here with a call method and i pass the prompt which will return me the response and i have got the output from this response that's it it's very simple i will just restart my application and let's see what is happening so my application is restarted now so i will call this api my api is audio to text so let me just copy this and let me go to the browser and i will convert from image to text to audio to text so i'll just wait for it to complete so here you can see that it converted the audio to text here you can see that it's the same thing the stale the stale smell of all beer lingers it takes heat to bring out the order a cold dip restores health and zest a salt pickle taste fine with ham and blah 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 okay so it's the same audio whatever the audio that we gave it converted into the english now if i change the language to suppose spanish okay yes then let's see how it will work so here you can see that my application started i will go back to the browser and if i run it again here you can see that it converted into spanish format okay so now the complete statement is in spanish now if i change the format okay so instead of text i need in the suppose srt format okay so let's see it will generate in the srt format now so my application started and if i go back if i hit the api again now you can see that i got the data in srt format i got the timestamp as well that this time to this time this is the text from this to this this is the text okay so this is how the srt file is created and we got the data in srt file so this way we can work from audio to text that is the transcription of the audio let's do another thing that is we will give the prompt and we will tell ai to generate the audio from it so let's go back to the intellij idea and let's create that api so let's create a new api here so i'll create public let me just start with a void here first generate audio okay and i will pass get mapping and i'll say text to audio and here what i will do is i will take the prompt and here i will take the prompt and this is going to be my path variable ideally you should not be taking the data in path variable because if you have a huge paragraph if you want to convert that text into the audio, audio file then maybe a different method like uh, taking the data in the json format or a input file that would make a better sense but we are just seeing that how this works so that's why i'm taking as a path variable okay so i'm just taking as a path variable and i'm taking as a prompt here and let's do one thing let's create the method here to generate the audio so as always here what we did is we added the options for audio as well here with the transcription here we need the audio options for speech options okay equals to open ai speech options dot builder dot build okay now here what we need is with model then with speed then with voice model is text to speech one speed is one f like in what speed you want to create your audio if you want normal speed it is 1.0.f if you want twice speed give 2.0 if you want 1.5 give 1.5 and the voice what voice you need to generate so again open ai audio api dot speech request dot voices dot you can see that there are different voices available shimmer alloy eco nova fable onyx whatever it is okay so you can use any of the voice and you can work around what are what is the different voices here so i've just defined all the things here whatever you need you can work with here now we need to create the prompt so let's create speech prompt here speech prompt prompt equals to new speech prompt and here i'm going to pass the prompt and i'm going to pass the options okay now as we have used the different models to call the data so i need to have the speech model as well so i'll just define private open ai audio speech model okay this is the model that we will use so what we need is open ai audio speech model dot call method which will take the speech prompt as the input okay and this call method is going to return me speech response so let me just take the speech response here so i'll take the speech response as the return value so i got the response back now from this response what i can do is i can get the data but what i will do is once you hit this api i need that audio file to be directly downloaded in my system okay so let's do that thing so what i'll do is i'll convert this to byte array first equals to response dot get result dot get output okay it's a byte array so once i get the data in byte array 
I can create a byte array resource equals to new byte array resource and I'm gonna pass the response bytes okay and then I will add the data I will add the code to download that byte resource in the audio format so I'll just define return and here I will say I need data in response entity and this should be of type resource okay so I'll just define return response entity dot okay dot content type equals to media type dot application octet stream dot content length is resource dot byte array resource dot content length dot header I'll set HTTP headers dot content disposition because I want to download it then what I need to download content disposition dot attachment dot file name whatever dot mp3 dot build dot to string okay and then dot body and I'm gonna pass resource here it should be byte array resource okay so here you can see that I have just added this code to download this audio file whatever is created here nothing else so this is a simple method here that I'm using the audio options speech options that what I want to do with the audio I need to use this model I need in single in the normal speed and this is the voice I need and I want to build it okay and then I'm using speech prompt to pass in the prompt and the options and then I am getting the response based on the OpenAI audio speech model I'm just calling it and then this entire code is nothing but to download that file that's it nothing extra okay so let's rerun the application and the application has started again so what I will do is I will call this API that is text to audio and I will pass the prompt cut hello subscribe to daily code buffer so once it is done it should download the file here you can see that down file is downloaded so let's hear the file hello subscribe to daily code buffer awesome right you can see that it's a good voice and it is able to get the data how we want it okay so this is how you will be able to generate the speech based on the text that we provide okay you can play around with the different attributes here you can see different options are there so play around with the different options and you will get the different outputs if you want to, ha to have a high speed if you want to have a low speed different voices different models so all those information is available here so if you go through this document all those details are available like how to get the data what are the different models available what are the different options are there everything is there we do not have to worry about getting the data everything is available in this documentation so you can go through and get the proper input based on what is the requirement okay so this is how you can work with the vision and the audio model with spring ai in your spring boot application with open ai the only thing here is that you need to give the two dollar credit to your open ai account to work with these models that's the only thing i think couple of dollars should not be a problem it's around 180 rupees right so we can add those data and we should be started working on this so play around with this okay it's just a playground for us to understand how the spring ai library is working currently spring ai library you can see that it's in the snapshot version it is not globally available it's not a ga yet right but when it's in ga we should be ready with all the things that we know so that's why this all the videos are created so that we can start working on this spring ai so whenever there is a requirement we already know that what all things are coming and we can directly work on it so this is all about the spring ai multi-model for vision and audio in spring Boot application and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos i hope you have enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye